Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. Into this tutorial, let's take a look really, really quick how we can use the Bitly platform. This website is really, really easy to shorten our URLs and we can generate QR codes and now we can create LinkedIn bios, which I think is really, really, really useful. So whether you are an influencer, you are a musician, you are a content creator, you are a graphic designer, whatever you are, I think Bitly is going to be helping you a lot, really, really a lot here into the entertainment world and all the creative stuff. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free. So once you click down below though, you will want to go into the free version if you don't want to pay absolutely for anything. But if you want to look for, uh, let's say like a plan that can be helping you to get more and more uh, features. For example, we do have the basic option where you can get a custom link redirection you can get some branded links and you have a lot a lot a lot of custom domains but if you are like not interested in that go into the get started for free there's no rush in there. and here what i want to do is to look for a username i want to copy my email and then what i want to do is to create and just import a passcode and go into sign up with email so uh, what I want to do here is to try sign in. So what I want to do here is to choose an email. And once I do have successfully created my account, it's really easy just to customize that. How will you use your links for work, for personal use? Both. This is not, uh, this is totally optional, but I want to use both. And here what I want to do is to input my first name, uh, last name. And here I have the organization, let's say White Star, and the title, you want to choose a owner, the department, this is really like just for uh, optional, if you want to skip this step, you can do this, do you want to, if you want to like go straight <laughs> into the material thing, uh, let's get started. So what I want to do, why do I need to have some short URLs, because if I want to share my music, let's say that I'm a musician, uh, I want to go for UX music, like this guy just uh, blow it this year into the 2022. So if I want to share like a song, for example, the golden hour, I'm gonna go into the three dots, go into share, and I'm gonna copy the link of this song, of this specific song. If I want to share this uh, with someone else, I'm gonna paste the link and take a look into all the characters that appears into the URL. I mean. It's a lot, really, really, really a lot. So sometimes it doesn't matter if this one goes to open.spotify.com. If you, uh, if a customer, if a client, if someone else looks like there's a lot of characters into a website, they would probably freaked out and they might be wondering that this is a spam or something like that. So that's the reason why I love to use shortened URLs. So this one is going to be looking more professional and kind of cute. So I'm going to go into Bitly once again. I'm going to go into create your first link. And here into the destination, I can just paste my link, which I think there's a lot, a lot, a lot of characters. And here into title, I want to look the title for the song, like, let's say, Golden Hour Song by Yuke. Like this. Like this. And then what I want to do is to go ways to show. You want to look for a spot, a Spotify to domain. I can whether choose this one or this one. So if I choose Spotify dot fi, it says the destination URL points to an auto branded domain that cannot be customized. You can still copy and share, just like any other Bitly link. So unfortunately, I want to choose the first option. So then I want to go into the create and boom my link has been already been created so what i just need to do is to copy this link and instead of having all of this um a lot of characters i want to just paste my new character here is bit.ly and i'm going to hit into enter and it's going to be sending me directly into into spotify really really easy right now if i want to generate some qr codes I can do this. So whether you created your first website and you forgot to add the QR uh, code or you want to 
create that. I'm going to go into create QR code. Uh, now in here it appears as QR code coming soon, but you don't have to worry about that because there's another way that we can do this. After you paste your destination URL, down in here you want to enable the QR code and boom, my QR code has been enabled uh, right away. So we're going to go into my dashboard and I want to add a QR code to the link that we just generated. So I want to scroll a little bit down and here I want to choose create QR code and boom, here is my Carla, here's my QR code. If you have a logo, you can add that in here and if you can, if you want to change the color, you can do that once again in here. But once again, we do need to upgrade to a basic plan minimum to customize our QR code, which I think is going to be pretty, pretty useful to have a QR code with your custom brand uh, integrated here. And lastly, I can create a link into my bio section that appears in here. I want to choose create a link in bio and here into domain, choose bit.ly, back half. Let's say I want to choose golden H and choose create site. And there we go. Here is my linked bio. So what I want to do in here is to customize my link. Go into add link, go into my song on Spotify. And here I want to paste the URL that we just created and the short link domain, you can go into create. And boom, it's really, really easy. Now in my case, this link has been already created. So I'm going to choose another song from the same artist. Assuming I am this artist, of course I'm not. <laughs> I'm just doing this as an example. I'm going to paste the destination URL. I'm going to hit into create. And boom, here is my my link that already created. So I can just add more things like um, my Instagram. And hit into a new destination URL. And hit into create. And blah, blah, blah. So everything has been just created successfully. If I want to customize my landing page, I'm going to hit into customization. Of course, I want to publish the changes. I don't want to miss anything of that. I want to go into customizations. I want to add an image of my profile image if I want to, like this one. And I do have the page title, the page description, and so much more stuff to, to edit. So I want to go into singer, songwriter, for example, or just tap, let's say, Duke, like this, and tap singer, songwriter, and scroll a bit down. I can add my socials if I want to, instead of just adding that in here to links. So I can just right away tap something like Instagram, Dot com and I'm gonna leave it like that because I don't want to add a social platform and then I can connect on the profile if I want to and the icon style I'm gonna leave it into black the layout I'm gonna leave it for let's say hero and I can choose different colors for let's say for example this one and here's the shape of my colors I'm gonna leave it like this and I can change the fonts as you can see really really easy and lastly, we do have the performance, so I can see in here how many people linked, clicked into my link um, on the last seven days, 14 days, and I can just go into public changes, go back into my links, and boom, we do have everything successfully created. And if this wasn't enough, we do have the campaigns where you can just organize your links here. You can compare between performance across all the channels, but this is only available for the premium plan. Of course, the custom links as well. So you want to check it out the plans if you want to take it a look into both of these great, great features, which in the, my personal um, scenario, this was really, really useful for my brand. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.